The Dacia Jogger is the cheapest seven-seater family car you can buy. However, it's powered by a one-liter petrol engine. And that got me wondering, what effect does weight have on this car's performance in terms of its acceleration? Where's the 60 miles an hour? It's braking. Oh, yeah. It's handling. Oh, oh there's so much body lean. <laughs> and its economy. Well, to find out, I'm going to give a lot of people a lift. Help, please. Don't worry, it's nothing dodgy. Buy, sell, car, wow. Let's start this video by seeing how adding weight affects the performance of this Dacia Jogger. So it's powered by a one litre three cylinder turbo petrol with 109 horsepower and 200 newton metres of torque. It's got a six speed manual gearbox driving the front wheels. The car weighs in at 1,205 kilos and I add an extra 75 kilos. Anyway, I'm gonna set a base time now using my specialist timing gear up here for the naught to 60 mile an hour and quarter mile times. Let's do it. Oh, good getaway very steady. <laughs> it's not that fast, unsurprisingly. Here comes 60, 11.34 seconds. Quarter mile, 18.51. That's the base time. Let's see what happens when we add some people. Now I've added three passengers. So we're going to travel with four people in the car, which is how most families will travel. You'll pop my car while family guys. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Steady away. Feels a bit slower. Oh, that's a 0 60 time though. Come on. Bear with us. 13.12. <laughs> yep, there we go. So 19.59 for the quarter mile. You guys made it even slower, but things are going to get worse. It seems as though my car wow family has grown. Yeah, they're an argument for contraception. Anyway, let's see what that does to the performance. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I really struggled off the line. <laughs> Come on. Where's the 60 miles an hour? 14.96. What will the quarter mile be? 20.64. Yeah, I'm afraid you have affected the performance, guys. Finally then, as well as seven people on board, we've added 200 kilograms of ballast to the boot. So everyone's luggage, though I don't know what they're carrying. Seems like they're carrying a lot of sand with them. Anyway, what it's done is change the stance of this car. So it's been lowered for free at the rear, though it's lifted the nose slightly. It's kind of like Dacia's version of Tesla's cheetah stance. Let's launch it. Oh, we've got wheel spin that time. That's the effect of the nose being in the air with all that weight in the boot. Car Nord 60, what's it going to be? 16.43 in the quarter mile, 21.24. Well, that definitely made a difference to the performance, didn't it? Anyway, if you pause the video now, you can see the different times we've got depending on the weight of the car. Now let's move on to the next test. Now I'm going to see what adding weight to the car does to its braking performance. So I'm going to do an emergency stop from 60 miles an hour and set a baseline with just me in the car. Let's do it. Here we go then. Full emergency stop coming up now. That's my emergency stop face. Anyway, it's stopped from 60 miles an hour in 36 meters. Once again, I've added my car, my family, begrudging family, and we are going to do a brake test. See what effect they have on the braking distance. Here we are, let's do the full emergency stop now. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's stopped in the exact same 36 meters. Now we've got seven people in the car. What's that going to do to the braking performance? Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, 36 meters again. It's making no difference. Okay, the final brake test. Seven people on board and 200 kilos worth of weight in the boot. Okay, here we go. Oh, a lot of ABS there. But did it matter? Absolutely not. It made no difference. Now, if you pause the video, you can see the different stopping distances with the different weights, but it's pointless. They're all 36, but here you go anyway. Let's move on. 
Now I'm going to see how adding weight affects the jogger's handling. So I'm going to drive down this slalom course and I'm going to be timed, see how long it takes me to do. Then I'll compare it when I've added some weight. So let's go. Leans a bit in the corners, it's not too bad. Lots of wheel twirling. So it's holding on okay, cross the line now. Let's find out how long that took. So then, what was the time? 12.12. 12.12 seconds. Now let's try that again, but with a car full of people and 200 kilos in the boot. Put the timer on board with me. So do you want to count me in? Three, two, one, go. Oof, it's so slow away from the line. Oh, wow, there's so much body lean. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're not enjoying this. Crossing the line now. 13.96. 13.96. It felt slower and it was slower. Now I'm going to see how adding weight to the jogger affects its economy. So what I'm going to do is drive around this bowl at a constant 70 miles an hour using the cruise control and I'm going to reset the trick computer and we'll work out the average miles per gallon over four miles. Then I'll repeat the test but with the car fully loaded. Now if you're finding this rather boring and you'd rather watch my review of the Dacia jogger, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. We are then four miles, 50 miles per gallon. Now let's add some weight. Now we have seven people on board plus 200 kilos in the boot. Let's reset the trick computer and see what it does for the economy. Okay, here we go then. Coming up to four miles, what's the economy going to be? It is. 46.2 miles per gallon. Ooh, that's four miles per gallon less. Weight does matter when it comes to economy. This next test looks at the car's engine braking as I go down a steep slope. I'm just gonna lift off the clutch and the brake and see what happens. Mm. Yeah, it slows it down a bit. but not much. Let's try it fully loaded. I'm just gonna release the clutch, see what happens. It's picking up speed, a lot of speed. If I'm not careful, it's gonna over rev. I'm gonna have to dip the clutch. <laughs> there was very little engine braking. Now I'm gonna test the Dacia's pulling power by driving it up a steep slope from standstill. There we go, chugging up. Bit of wheel spin at first, but we're away. Bit of dramas, but we got over them. Okay, now I've got a passenger. Let's see if that affects the ability to go this slope. Go on then. Ah, it's all right. I'll tell you what, the traction control steps in to stop the wheel spin and it causes the engine to bog, so it struggles, but once you're moving, it's fine. There we go. No problem. Now, if you want to see a Dacia Duster go head to head with an Audi RS Q8 off road, click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below. Now, I've increased the weight with three passengers, so four people on board in total. Come on. Oh, got to work that clutch. Oh, a bit of wheel spin. There we go. Traction wasn't quite so intrusive then. No problem. Ish. <laughs> Let's up the ante. Now, we've got seven people on board. It's going to be interesting. Come on. Uh, lots of rolling backwards. Come on. Oh, my foot is flat to the floor. <laughs> oh, we made it. Just. Okay, finally then. Seven people in the car and 200 kilos worth of ballast in the boot. Thank God for hill hold control. No, it didn't help me. I've stalled it. Okay, let's try again. Third time's a charm, maybe? I'm gonna try and feed it in. Bit of clutch there, Pidge.
There we go. This is the way to do it. I'm smelling some clutch though. Get some momentum. Come on, car. You can do it. This is the smelliest way to get up a hill. We're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! Yes! Can anyone smell clutch? Not yet. Not yet. Just tire. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there oh. it is. Oh. Mm. <laughs> anyway, if you're thinking about buying a new car, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below to go to Carway to see how much money you can save. Alternatively, if you want to do that at a later date, simply Google Help Me Car Wow, and my team and I will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers. So then, what have we learned with all this Car Wow? science. Well, adding weight to the Dacia Jogger does affect how it drives. One thing that really surprised me though is how it didn't affect its safety because the braking was exactly the same. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to go to Carway to sell your car. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then our dealers will bid on your car and you'll find out how much it's really worth. Thanks for watching.